Hello and welcome. My name is Juan Tadeo. I'm recording this for the university, in particular for telecommunications for eye navigation subject. And I will be talking about electronic warfare and the role radar plays on it. As you can see, I've divided my topic into blocks. So let's start with electronic warfare. So first of all, what's electronic warfare? Well, is any technological and electronic activity in order to detect, exploit, reduce or inhibit the use of the energy spectrum? In this case, the spectrum is the electromagnetic one. The point behind this is not allowing the enemy to use it, and if possible, at the same time, use it in our own profit. Of course, this is mainly applied on military purposes. Army is highly dependent on two blocks, radar and telecommunications. But why? Well, telecommunications provide real-time battlefield data to high commands of the Army. This way, they will take better decisions, while radar provides information about the enemy location and direction, also anticipating attacks in advance. So radar will always be in the frontline battlefield. So electronic warfare will be divided in two as well. Communications intelligence will deal with the telecommunication signals, which includes voice communications and digital communications such as data link, while electronic intelligence will be based on radar emissions. Here we will find electronic countermeasures and electronic counter countermeasures. We will talk about it in radar. Somehow the invention of radar in the Second World War triggered the electronic warfare. This way we will not find one without the other. But the point is that electronic warfare plays a role before radar or telecommunication does, so it becomes a key factor to achieve victory. Both systems are going to be target of the enemy in an offensive attack, and the other way around the first action taken against the enemy will always have to overcome the enemy detection and communication systems. So now let's get in deep with radar. Um, it will be explained what techniques are used in order to protect this system and also how to boycott or hide from the enemy one. Radio stands for the acronym of Radio Detection and Ranging. It is based on echo and Doppler effect and it mainly measures distances and velocities. Electromechanical signals as well as mechanical signals bounce into surfaces, into objects. If the time the emitted signal takes to the object and back again is measured, we can isolate the variable distance from the equation velocity equals distance over time, while velocity is the velocity of the light. In the other hand, the Doppler effect provides information about velocity. Consider the moving point as the target, and the circles are the bounced signals. The distance between circles decreases in the moving direction, which in fact means an increase in the frequency of the signal, and the opposite happens backwards, the frequency is reduced. Of course, this is not an ideal system, there exist interferences. If we activate a radar and we try to listen or to receive electromagnetic waves, we will receive weak power from the free space. This is noise, somehow silence doesn't exist. In order to have an operative radar, we need the received signal to have higher power than the noise. If not, the signal will be lost, hide into the noise. The other interference is known as clutter. They are false target echoes, and these echoes may come from natural sources such as mountains, but also from human mates such as tall buildings. This appears in the display confusing the operator, but it can be easily solved applying a filter with Doppler effect, since clutter sources used to be static. So now we can start talking about the weak points of the radar. And this is done through ACM, or Electronic Counter Measures. This is the disruption of the surveillance systems of the enemy. And we can apply active or passive methods. The first ones implies an addition of energy, while the second ones will transform or redirect this energy in order not to bounce back anything to the enemy radar. So let us start with active ACM which can be divided into jamming and dissection and active decoys. While jamming tries to disable the radar and communication systems, deception just tries to confuse the radar operators, but they both follow the same techniques. 
they radiate interfering signals towards an enemy radar, blocking the receiver with highly concentrated energy signals. And there are two main techniques. Spot jamming, which is concentrating all the radiated energy into a given frequency, and barrage jamming, which is not usual because we don't used to know the frequency the enemy is using, so we spread the energy in a bandwidth. The noise produced is going to be lower for a given frequency, but it will cover more number of frequencies. Active decoys are basically UAVs or unhuman air vehicles. Somehow these vehicles make believe the radar that they are a real aircraft, so these confuse the enemy. For passive ACM, we will differentiate between chip, corner reflectors, RAM, and planar designs. Whenever an aircraft is fixed by a radar, the pilot used to release chaff behind it. The radar signal will randomly bounce into the chaff, creating a cloud of targets. And this way, an aircraft can get time in order to take another evasive action. It's funny to find corner reflectors here because they used to ensure that part of the signal is correctly reflected to the radar and this does not seem a very good idea. The point is that they are used together with an UAV so that the radar thinks that the UAV has a greater size than the actual one. So the first type of RAM or radar absorber material it used an invisible coat into radar fitted with iron balls, chips or, or some kind of ferrite particles which will make the electromagnetic signal to bounce randomly while getting deep in the coating and this way the signal is dissipated and the energy transformed into heat. The other possibility is to find multiple semi-reflective coatings which are going to make the signal divided in two. The first part will bounce into each interface and the other part will pass through them. And the distances between interfaces are thought so that the reflective signals will suffer from a change of phase, which is going to cancel the total bounce signal, or at least to drop its power down. If you try to reflect a beam of light into a mirror the same way Rada tries with a signal, you will see the reflection if the vector perpendicular to the mirror is looking at you. This is why planar designs are invisible to radar, because the electromagnetic waves are bounced in other directions. Now in ACCM, which stands for Electronic Counter Content Measures, we will see techniques which detect and cancel or just prevent the use of ACM by the enemy. And we will divide it in two blocks also, once regarding anti-active ACM and another one regarding anti-passive. Frequency hopping is used in order to prevent deception and jamming. The signals emitted by radar will use a different frequency each time. Therefore, spot jamming will only affect the radar receiver whenever the radar used that frequency, but barrage jamming will affect larger number of received signals, but with lower addition of noise. The other possibility is pulse compression which is a variation in frequency along the time of each of the pulses. This way a spot jamming will only affect part of the signal, but barrage jamming will damage the signal with a higher efficiency. The other possibility is polarization, which is the behavior of electric and magnetic fields inside the signal. As you can see, behavior can be linear or circular, but also any elliptic intermediate states. If receiver expects a particular polarization and jamming use a different one, then the jamming efficiency reduces. Passive ACM can only be solved by multistatic radars, which in fact is having more than one receiver. We can characterize better the size of the aircrafts. So, for example, the aircrafts inside chaff's clouds are easily to target again. So here ends my presentation. Please consider that all these methods are not applied alone. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.